Hey, I'm missionary Andrew Olson and I want to give you a little tour of our house and tell you about some of the little things that you should definitely take with you if you plan to live overseas. One of them is this. This is a Simply Safe alarm system. It's only about $100, but it comes with door sensors and it can work without a subscription, without membership fee or anything. Super good investment. Get yourself one of those and give yourself some peace of mind when you're out and about. All right, next let's talk tools. Get yourself a ratchet set. Sorry, it looks a little bit messy in here. Get yourself a ratchet set and a basic toolbox with a drill. Definitely want to have that drill. You never know what things you might need to hang. Get a, um, yeah, get a computer, a few other little things, a printer. We really like this model. This is called a Canon Pixma Mega Tanker. It's the model G4210. Really nice uh, printer. Comes with reservoirs for the ink. All right, let's keep going. Sorry for the mess I've been unpacking here. Yeah, get yourself some board games. Don't forget those. Bring them along. We'll be happy if you had those. Uh, don't forget a tripod because you'll take some pictures, probably some family pictures. Um, yeah, clothes is pretty basic. Oh yeah, I gotta tell you about this. Get a medical bag. People will come to you wanting medical help and it's really nice to have everything in one bag especially if you need medical help and it's far away. Uh, this is just a paramedic bag we picked up on Amazon. Super, super nice, durable and cheap. Bring lots of deodorant and of course some cologne if you want to smell decent. Uh, you can probably sweat more than you ever believed it was possible to sweat. Let's just keep going. Got a few other things to show you. Bring some musical instruments. I have this guitar here. It's a, it's a been a best friend. Um, I know that's probably not something you can bring your first uh, trip, but have someone bring it for you if you can. Counts as a carry-on on some airlines. Uh, get a Bluetooth speaker of some kind. This one's an AO Mace uh, Bluetooth speaker. And some books. Get some, some nice books. Of course, I'm recording this on a video camera. It's a GoPro. Um, I think it's the Hero 6 GoPro. Let's talk kitchen for just a bit. These types of things you can pick up locally. Hot pot, microwave, fridge, all that stuff, you can get it locally. But one thing you can get locally is this. This is a 240 to 120 volt converter. This thing does up to 1500 watts, worth its weight in gold. Especially if you plan to bring things like, I don't know, maybe a coffee meal. This one's like six bucks, coffee meal at the thrift store. Uh, a lot of these appliances you can actually get locally. Rice cooker, um, you know, toaster. But this one is our blender from the USA. I'm so glad we brought that in. And then we got a crock pot from a missionary here that runs on 120 volts. So again, that 120 volt converter is pretty important. Plates, bowls, uh, these whatever vacuum sealer things, you can get those all here or overseas, most likely. Foods, spices though. Bring yourself some good favorite spices from Walmart. You can get some of these here, but they won't be up to your expectations or hopes. You can surprisingly get things like pancake syrup, ketchup, apple cider vinegar, weird stuff like that. You cannot get Parmesan cheese though. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Uh, you can get lard, breadcrumbs, a lot of other random things. You can pretty much get salt. I mean, you can get Tabasco sauce here. It's the same stuff. Pots and pans, you can get that here. You can get that overseas. They're actually not too bad. Yeah, of course, stove, teas. Now, if you're a big tea and coffee drinker, um, try to find a local source, but we have great local tea here. There's also this Kilimanjaro brand coffee. It's one of only a few brands of coffee uh, that's grown in here in Tanzania. Another brand is this Lungi brand, but yeah, you can get, you can get really good coffee and stuff. All right, I'll show you my pantry here. You can get a lot of different types of canned goods. Oatmeal, baked beans, sweet corn, peas. I'm actually pretty surprised you can get spaghetti, you can get macaroni and cheese. Over here we can get cheddar cheese for making mac and cheese. But we also brought some cheese powder, it's in here. Look it up on Amazon and be surprised. You can buy that mac and cheese powder straight up. All right, let's talk filtration. You really need a good water filter set up. Your basic bare minimum is a Sawyer. Sawyer is a really good brand for filtration. This thing by itself will work. 
but you'll have to backwash it quite a bit. And to lighten the load on our backwashing, we added a ceramic candle filter up there. We just custom did that with a bunch of ceramic candles. That just lightens the load for those Sawyer filters. Well, to lighten the load for the ceramic candle filters, we added a sand filter. Uh, this is locally made as well. Ask a missionary in your area, you can pick one of those up. So we basically just have sand filter, ceramic candle to Sawyer, and then that's good enough. Just for one extra layer of security, we added a UV light uh, to that. Those up online, uh, you like bacteria. So. All right, I think that's pretty much good for this. You can't get the turkey, you have to drain that if you like. <laughs> you can get butter cookies, like these beautiful Danish butter cookies. I'm surprised by like it's all these imports you can get. Seriously, things like bikes for kids you can get locally, nice beds you can have those. This was locally made. Uh, Things for your kids though. Bring a couple nice toys. This was actually locally purchased, this really nice Lego car thing. Um, but Barbies, I mean, we've got girls, so Barbies are great. Little people like this are great. Um, wall decals really made this room feel homey. Uh, other toys like this little house set we got here. Um, I wanna tell you about this. Invest yourself in a couple of these mosquito traps. Uh, just look up USB powered mosquito traps. These things actually work and we've opened up the bottom here to find just thousands of mosquitoes. I kid you not. Just crazy. We have one in each room now. You can see it there. So get yourself some of those. I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. It's already been like a seven minute video. But um, yeah. And then as soon as I finish and click cut, I'm gonna think of something else like I just did. You should get a hammock. Bring a good hammock and set it up. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. It can be a little bit better if you've got a nice hammock. Did I mention canvas art? Okay, canvas art. If you can roll it up, like you can buy rolled prints, like this one here. It's a, just a rolled print of my wife and I at our wedding. We had a, a frame built to size locally, and that was nice. Okay, one other thing. This is a US fly swatter thing. It uses D cell batteries. It's junk. These are the ones they sell here. They're amazing. It's rechargeable. It uses lithium batteries. It's bigger. These are really great. And you can get them probably in Africa if that's where you're going. So yeah, man, of course to say I'm gonna wrap it up and then think of a bunch of other stuff. Xylophone, harmonica, banjo, I mean not banjo, but ukulele, ukulele are all really good ideas um, for small instruments. If you're a big guy or you're, you know, if you're planning to go overseas and you're big and tall, you're gonna need shoes. I cannot find locally sourced shoes that are my size to save my life. So I'm always bringing extra pairs of shoes, bring a couple extra. All right, that's one other thing. Just one more thing, I'm sorry. You gotta just bear with me because this is a pretty important one. This is called an action packer. If you don't know what this is, these are such a lifesaver. That's a Sterilite and it's the 31 and a quarter length by 15, 17 and 5 eighths width, 13 and 7 eighths height or 79 centimeters. Oh, that's 1842. Sterilite 1842 is a beautiful way to get your stuff overseas. Uh, this thing, it's lightweight, it has latches. You can drill extra security holes for tie straps or little zip tie straps. It comes with one, but very versatile. It comes with wheels so that you can wheel, wheel it around. We put numbers on ours so we can remember. These things have been such a lifesaver, especially when you're moving heavy 50 pound boxes. You just don't want to be buying a bunch of suitcases that fall apart and break. You want to have something durable that can keep the stuff safe inside. That's the way to go get the Sterilite. They're called action packers or uh, sometimes they're called foot lockers as well. All right, take care, bye.